What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today I am back with more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 and as the title suggests we are doing every unit versus about 5 million zombies which is an insane number. So we have 1,000 World War II US soldiers, 1,000 World War II German soldiers, 10 troll units over here. Then we have 1,000 Roman soldiers, we have 1,000 Spartan soldiers, we have 10 Sherman tanks, we have 1,000 Persian soldiers, we have 1,000 medieval knights, we have 1,000 battle ducks, I love their little helmets, they're so cute! Uh, we have 1,000 medieval archers, we have 20 catapults, we have 1,000 creepy mantis shrimp, I absolutely hate these units. They're disgusting. Uh, we have 1,000 free-range chickens. We have 1,000 British redcoats. Uh, and then we have one of each of the god units. Um, it's hard to find them on the battlefield because there's only one of each of them. Uh, but basically, we have uh, one Nikola Tesla, one Chunk Norris, and then one Action Man, a.k.a. John Wick. Uh, they are on the battlefield somewhere here. I don't see them right now, but I'm sure they will become evident once uh, they actually reach the 5 million zombies over this way. What's up, gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off, as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So, Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. All right, it is now full speed ahead for these soldiers. We're gonna see if they can manage to gain a victory against these five million zombies. Oh, that's gotta be one of the hero units. Yep, that's John Wick right there and he starts firing away. Yeah, baby, what a giga chat. Look at him doing his little side straddle strafing. What a giga chat. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It means the world to me. It helps me out a ton on this channel with the algorithm. Subscribe if you have not already. We're trying to reach 500,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. Uh, so every subscription counts. It's really appreciated. And comment down below any other Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 video ideas you guys might have for me. I thought this one would be really, really cool. So I'm excited that we are doing it. Uh, and we will see if these guys manage to win or lose. Now, there are different sort of strengths to each unit. Like, the Persians are extremely weak, but meanwhile, the Spartans are really, really strong. On top of that, the Shermans are really, really strong, and the Catapults are too. And of course, the God units like John Wick, Chunk Norris, and Nikola Tesla are extremely powerful as well. So, it really is going to matter whether or not they win this thing if each unit, you know, manages to play to its strengths and things like that, you know? Um, I, I think they could potentially win this thing just given the diversity of the units that they are bringing forward here. They have so many different units with so many different strengths and powers that are going to be going on here uh, that I have a good feeling about this battle and I feel like they could uh, easily come away with a dub ski in this thing. Um, but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you guys think that they'll have enough going for them here uh, to manage to defeat all of these zombies? Or uh, do you think the zombies will end up dominating the battlefield and it just will not be enough? <laughs> you can see the free rage chickens throwing their eggs out there. I love the little sound they make. It's so cute. Oh yeah, we also have a thousand British redcoats on the battlefield. I don't know where they were when we were, uh, doing the little opening thing. I don't think I mentioned them, but yeah, 1,000 British Redcoats also on the battlefield right here, uh, which will add to the fun. You can see those catapults going in. This is where like most of the range units apparently ended up being was on this left side over here, which is kind of funny. Uh, you can see those eggs hitting the zombies right there. Beautiful. I'm trying to find Chunk Norris and uh, Nikola Tesla. And also John Wick, I think got crushed between both the good army over here and the uh, zombie army over this way uh, so I think Chunk or sorry that John Wick is now just sort of like 
smashed between these two armies, which completely defeats the purpose of his strengths. I mean, John Wick is supposed to be good at sort of that backpedaling and moving around and stuff like that, um, and, and dodging, but being smushed between doesn't really allow him to do that. So I don't know if he's still alive or if he has died on this battlefield already. Uh, who knows? Either way, it looks like uh, the cumulative army here has 55,000 kills at this point in time, and the zombies have 1,500 kills at this time. I think most of those kills for the zombies come from, like, the Persians, uh, who are super duper weak, as well as probably, like, uh, you know, the medieval knights, they're also pretty weak. You know, the weaker units are the ones that are going down here pretty quickly on the battlefield. Um, here are a bunch of Spartans over here going off. They're looking pretty strong. Spartans are just a, such a good, solid unit. Uh, here's a Roman shield wall happening over here. Uh, they're going off. They're doing quite well. Oh, there's a bunch of zombies coming up over this way. Uh, World War II shotgunners managing to absolutely obliterate these guys. I, I am still looking for Chunk Norris and, and Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla should be easy to find, right? He's He does the zapping. Oh, wait. There's some zapping over here. Oh, this is where they are. They decided to go all the way over this way, apparently. So, we have Nikola Tesla strafing a bunch of zombies over here and just zapping away at them. That's really funny. He ended up going on an extremely far flank over here and is now having to deal with an entire army of zombies all on his own. I can't exactly say that's a good thing for the man. Um, but I'm just glad that we managed to find this dude before the battle was over or else I never would have known probably that he came over here. Uh, I also wonder if Chunk Norris was over here too fighting and ended up dying? I'm not fully sure. I, I, I still have yet to find him. Still not totally sure uh, where the chunky boy ended up being. I mean, he could just be in a pile of uh, fighters somewhere around here just kicking butt and taking names. I don't think he would go down super easily. He's a pretty powerful warrior. He could also just be in the back lines, you know, still stuck sort of back here amongst a bunch of troopers, like shuffling their way slowly to the front. He might not have even engaged with the enemies yet, uh, for all we know. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll maybe find him uh, throughout the duration of this battle. I mean, we've already lost John Wick. I have no idea where he went. He could be dead. He did get smushed between the zombies and stuff, so uh, he could have easily ended up going down. Um, but this is definitely like the Freakazoid section of the battlefield over here where we have the mantis shrimp, <laughs> the chickens, the battle ducks. Like, this is definitely the Freakazoid section over this way. Uh, meanwhile, over here, this is like the World War II section where we've got German soldiers, shotgunners, Sherman tanks. Uh, it's a very different vibe over here compared to the other side of the battlefield. Well, right now we are at 125,000 kills for every uh, UBS 2 unit right now. Meanwhile, the zombies have killed 3,400 of them. So, still a lot of battling to go. And I think if, uh, you know, if the every UBS 2 units end up losing just really, really badly here, like without even a million kills. We'll run this again and we'll like triple all of their numbers, but I did want to try this first uh, with only like about a thousand of each unit uh, just to see how they do with that. But uh, yeah, if they do pretty poorly, we'll, we'll go ahead and redo this thing. Either way, it does look like the Redcoats over here are getting flanked by uh, zombies and now them and the free range chickens are having to turn around and fire behind them over here. Did Nikola Tesla die then? No, our boy Nick is still uh, still firing away over here, although he is completely surrounded now. He's probably going to go down pretty soon, but I mean, cheers to him for at least, uh, you know, kicking it for a while and managing to do pretty decently uh, in the grand scheme of things here. He's probably got a few thousand kills just all on his own over here. Uh, I'm proud of the man. You know, he's definitely going to die at some point here, but he is uh, doing his part for the military war effort here. Why don't we go ahead and do our first time lapse of the video now, um, and we could do it, I think down here would be really interesting to see with all of these guys, just because it's such a cluster of random units, I think it's kind of a fun area to watch, so let's do a time lapse right over here.
All right, so the zombies have basically flooded all of the lines here. I don't know if that time lapse ended up looking too good, just because it's so chaotic on this battlefield. It's a little bit bizarre. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that the zombies are going to win this one, um, and the every unit here is is gonna lose. They only have like 1,000 troopers left uh, somewhere on this battlefield. I don't even know where they're hiding 1,000 troopers right now. Where are they at? I know there's a few Romans in this area, but that can't be enough. I'm not fully sure to be honest um wait is that that's uh no okay i thought that might have been chunk norris no there's a few spartans and stuff like that over here and some more mantises and stuff like that but i think it's safe to say that this was a fat l here uh for every unit let's go ahead and uh just do it now and go and double maybe triple maybe quadruple their numbers and see how they do then uh, this was more of a test run i suppose uh, and it did not end up going too well oh Here's our boy Chunk Norris. He's still going at it. Uh, he's likely to go down pretty soon, but uh, it's good to see him. All right, let's go ahead and, and increase the numbers. All right, so I ended up increasing uh, every unit tier numbers by 10, actually, times 10, except for the hero units, as in uh, John Wick, Chunk Norris, and our boy Nikola Tesla. All each are just one trooper on the battlefield. They don't have multiples of themselves. Um, however, everyone else, like the, the Romans went from 1,000 to 10,000, the Persians went from 1,000 to 10,000, Shermans went from uh, 10 to 100, uh, so I think they have a much better shot this time. They're basically sending in 110,000 units uh, versus 5 million zombies still. Uh, so it's still going to be a hard fight, of course. I mean, this is a lot of units uh, compared to the last battle we did, but they got completely crushed last battle. So. I'm hoping that, at the very least, it's going to be a little bit more fair, this battle. If, if not, you know, a, a dominant victory. I, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a dominant victory. But at the very least, I'm just hoping that it's a little bit more fair um, and that the, the zombies won't be so overwhelming this time. Uh, same sort of thing is happening as last time with the Persians, the Spartans, the Romans, all sort of running on in here. First things first, uh, I feel like the Persians are likely to die first yet again. They're just one of the weakest units in this battle, man. In the entire game, man. They're, they're just pretty darn weak. Uh, we got a couple trolls over here. Actually, where are them? Oh, here are the rest of the trolls. Okay, so there's a hundred trolls on the battlefield now. Um, as well as, uh, I believe, should be 50 catapults, I think? Maybe 500? I can't remember if before we had 50 catapults or 5 catapults. I genuinely can't remember. Oh, here's the Shermans peppering some fire in there. That's going to be very, very helpful. That cover fire is going to support uh, all of these units on the ground here by a lot. Um, Chunk Norris is probably in this crowd somewhere, uh, considering this is where he ended up in the last battlefield. Oh, let's check on the sides, too, um, because looks like this time Nikola Tesla is not going to be alone over here and he is over here yet again actually which is kind of funny um, and he is with a bunch of medieval knights medieval archers redcoats and catapults so the flank will actually be protected this time it's amazing what actually having the numbers you need to succeed in a battle um, <laughs> will do for you in the battle it's it's crazy it's crazy dude uh, so it's good to see that at least, uh, you know, the flanks are being supported this time around. And there's just so much fire of every kind. We have bullets, we have uh, catapult rocks, and we have arrows, and <laughs> Tesla's coil all being fired into these zombies over here. That is a crazy amount of uh, ordnance just coming on in and striking out against these zombies over here. Uh, and it is keeping them at bay pretty decently. Um, the knights are filling the gaps where they need to as well, which is definitely a good thing to see. Uh, and they're going to have to definitely keep that up too during the rest of this battle. Uh, and then we've got the Shermans and stuff over here still firing in, supporting this infantry over here. Uh, this infantry, it looks like, has taken some losses, of course, but they're doing a lot better with more support. And down mid, we have a stronger line, it looks like, of Spartans over here that are taking uh, the city by storm. It'd be very good if they can set up some roadblocks in the city over there. Also, the shotgunners over here for the U.S. Army uh, is firing away at many of the zombies over here as well and uh, causing the zombies to barely even get to these Spartans over this way. Uh, so that's a beautiful thing right there. That She's a beaut right there. Yeah. Why don't we go ahead and do a time lapse over here? This will actually look pretty cool, I think, this time.
All right, I'm not sure if that time lapse actually looked good at all again. Um, it seems like this battle in general, just not great for time lapses because it's so fast moving. You don't really get that nice stationary battle that you need for time lapses. But either way, we're looking at about 4,500 dead uh, of every Yubes 2 army. Uh, I guess that's what we'll call them. Uh, meanwhile, we're looking at uh, 300,000 dead zombies. So right now the zombies are definitely taking a beating. And in fact, the Yubes armies are moving forward pretty nice. They're actually cutting through the city here and they're halfway through it. Um, and before, they were much more on the defensive. Now they're on the offensive by a lot. They've also been able to send soldiers across this way over here. It looks like a mix of archers, German soldiers, Romans, and World War II soldiers. And they're fighting zombies on this riverbank here too, which is pretty cool. This is a whole other front that we didn't even get to see in the last battle. Um, and then the flank over here, this area, it seems like they're not actually like moving forward all that much. However, they are keeping these zombies at bay, which is all you need. So, uh, you know, these medieval knights and uh, mantises over here will probably all end up dying to the zombies, uh, but then hopefully the range units will continue to be able to keep them at bay. Here's the free roaming chickens all spamming fire at them. I wonder how much damage these legs do. Right? It can't be a lot, right? It cannot be a lot of damage. <laughs> Oh, they're starting to get hit by the zombies now. No! Oh, sad. Ah, the chickens. We must keep the chickens alive at all costs. Nikola Tesla still being an absolute beast on this battlefield, and it looks like he hasn't really taken any damage this time around, so he'll be on the battlefield a lot longer, too. Uh, still haven't really seen John Wick or Chunk Norris uh, in this iteration of the battle. They're probably still alive somewhere. Um, either way, we'll just go ahead and let this run for a while and uh, see what happens. I'm curious, it, you know, they could still take a turn and completely lose to the zombies, or they continue to keep it up and do a nice job against these zombies. We'll just have to see. All right, so some time has passed now, and actually 1 million zombies are dead, and 28,000 of uh, the Yubes units are dead as well. So that means about one-fourth of the Yubes units have all perished at this point, and about one-fifth of all of the zombies have perished at this point. Uh, now, the units that died for the Yubes units are probably all the weakest ones, like the Persians and the Medieval Knights and honestly some of the Romans too probably. Uh, meanwhile, like the Shotgunners and the Shermans and stuff like that are still alive. So they've still got their strongest units, which means they could definitely make a bit of a comeback here. However, the flank is crumbling a little bit here as the zombies are really making their way through. Oh, Tesla's over here having some problems yet again. He went really deep on the flank over this way, uh, and he's probably done for fairly soon as well. Hopefully you can get some more kills uh, before the time is out here. Um, but yeah, it does look like the zombies, uh, you know, have a good shot at winning this thing still, and the Yubes units also have a good shot at winning this thing still. So we will play this out until the bitter end here uh, to find out who exactly ends up winning. Uh, we do have a lot of snipers on this hillside still firing away, and those catapults are doing some work as well. Uh, so I've got high hopes for the Yubes units, but the zombies are making a little bit of a play here uh, and could potentially uh, make some good things happen for themselves. Oh, is there... No, okay. I think I keep getting tricked by the mantises. I keep thinking the mantises are Chunk Norris because they also, like, fly the zombies away like Chunk Norris does, but it's just the mantises. <laughs> All right, well... We'll let this ride for a while longer and find out what happens. We have just now passed the 2 million kill mark on the zombies. Now, got some bad news that there are only 54,000 soldiers left for the Yubes army. And 55,000 have died, so literally halfway through. Um, still the strongest unit should be alive at this point, but... Uh, now the problem is that the knights and the Roman soldiers and most of the Spartans and stuff like that, they're dead. So the missile units are not going to have that cannon fodder before them in order to uh, prevent the zombies from getting to them. So that's a major problem in this battle that we've got going on right now. And the zombies might be able to make it far enough forward uh, to start taking out a lot of the missile units that have been causing most of the damage uh, for the Yubes units. That's a major, major problem that we've got going on here. Um, I mean, there's still hope that the Yubes units are able to pull this off and uh, get the Dubski, but it, things are looking a little bit more fraught now. Oh, definitely a little bit more fraught. And look, this flank over here is just doing terrible at this point. Just really, really bad. So things are looking uh, not too good, not too spicy for the Yubes units right now. 
uh, and they could end up losing to five million zombies. But there's still hope. There's always hope on this battlefield. Yubes does crazy things, and you never know when uh, you know when they make their stand, they end up just tossing these zombies salads. So we'll find out what happens soon. Okay, so the zombies have now lost 3.5 million soldiers. However, the Yubes units have lost 87,000. But that being said, the shotgunners over here are doing a great job and they're backed up by German soldiers and a few Sherman tanks, which is awesome. Uh, so they're actually doing pretty well in the middle side over this way. And on the far right, they're doing pretty well too. There's even uh, still some Spartans and other weird creatures left alive over here. However, uh, this flank over this way uh, is uh, now free pretty much. The zombies over here, um, they've just yet to sort of start running around the flank, but they will probably at some point. Oh, no, wait. Oh, there's still a few redcoats over here. I didn't notice that before. Okay, so they're going to kill those redcoats and then complete that flank over there. And then over here, there's also a zombie flank going on against these German soldiers. However, they seem to be holding out okay for right now. So it's still pretty intense. Not sure who's going to win this thing overall. Um, why don't we go ahead and do a time lapse right here and, and check out these zombies coming into the shotgunners over this way. That'll be pretty cool, I think. Alright, so I think that perhaps the Yubes units have this because they're at 4.17 million kills, the zombies are at 97,000 kills, leaving only 11,000 Yubes units left, but they have just this super strong defense over here. Look at the body pile created by these shotgunners. These guys are doing amazing. Uh, and then over here, it's more of a trickle in of zombies right now going up against some Germans, uh, medieval archers, catapults, and Shermans, and they're able to take care of them pretty easily. Also, this flank never really truly came to fruition. There's a few zombies, but they managed to get picked off pretty quickly uh, by Germans behind there. So that was pretty easy. And then this flank over here also managed to hold it together pretty nicely. So I do think that we're going to see a victory here. I'm pretty sure of it uh, for the Yubes units, though it was very, very close there for quite a while. So uh, let's go ahead and see, uh, you know, the ending numbers here for uh, the number of zombies killed and the number of Yubes units killed. All right, gamers. So pretty much we've come to the end of the video here. Um, there's basically a ton of different soldiers all over the place just running around doing nothing uh, and apparently there's a bunch of zombies still alive too but I have no idea where they are I've checked everywhere uh, so we're gonna call it here and we're gonna call it a victory for the Yubes soldiers uh, they ended up getting 4.56 million kills and they've still got 7600 soldiers left so they did great this was a cool battle I really hope you guys enjoyed it please be sure to hit the like button if you did Subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below if you'd like to see some more. I'll see you on the next one. Peace I hope you guys enjoyed that video Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload Thanks so much